These stories that you heard about the old China, can you tell me some of them? Yes, there are many. I'm not sure how to select. <laughs> uh, but one in particular of a family in the, south, in the west of China, uh, where the a Catholic family for generations, and um, the grandparents and the parents knew that things were going to get difficult. And uh, they started putting away all the religious Catholic objects in their house and hiding them. And one of the last things that the grandmother hid away was a picture of the little flower. And uh, a young girl of about 10 that time, who is now doing a very important job in China, said to her grandmother, Granny, you can't hide that away. Because we've been praying there all the time. And the grandmother said, look darling, we'll have to do it. But God will protect us from everything. And so for a number of years they had to act as if in public they had no faith. Uh, in private they continued to pray the rosary. And when they'd hear a noise outside, they, could, they would stop because they were afraid somebody would be spying on them. Because at that time, people spied on one another and reported them if they were doing anything against the dictates of Mao. And the dictates of Mao covered faiths and covered truth. Truth that was often given by people, of, uh, not of faith, but people of intelligence and integrity. All these were under the hammer from Mao. So in that period, it was an awful time, but people coped and survived.